For Action News, I'm Anna Jalosky. While some may be a buzz about the alleged honeybee colony collapse, scientists around the world aren't buying it. Especially when it comes to accusations that a group of pesticides known as neonicotinoids or neonics are responsible for the colony collapse disorder. John Entine's latest thorough scientific reporting masterfully makes it clear that the accusations are baseless. Neonics are a group of chemicals introduced in the 90s that allow farmers to control pests. They have been proven effective and yet called the time bomb by critics. The critics of neonics say that it's a time bomb because we don't actually fully understand how this pesticide works, that perhaps it accumulates into uh, the bodies of bees, affects their brains in some sublethal way, and ultimately um, it endangers uh, the pollinating crops that depend on bees. Um, that is just a assertion, actually, and the field test and the field experience that we have suggests that neonics um, are relatively harmless to bees and to other insects. The case of the collapse, he says, is a complex scientific issue, and yet it's been relegated down to ideology, a simple answer that may work for the general public, but doesn't work for science. Modern agriculture is really challenging. You need pesticides to, to make crops grow. So this is not really a case of whether you're going to use um, neonics or nothing. You have to use some pesticide. Uh, the critics of neonics have, have somehow coalesced around this one chemical and suggested that it has some outsized impact on bee deaths and what they call colony collapse disorder when hives suddenly were abandoned um, by bees. But the facts don't show that. What I outline in my story is not just my opinion. In fact, I don't have an opinion on this one way or the other. I interviewed the leading entomologists in the world, May Birnbaum, um, Dennis Van Engelsdorp, who, who coined the term colony collapse disorder. I could find out one mainstream scientist, entomologist, who believes that neonics is either the driving cause for um, uh, bee deaths, or even a primary or an important cause on it. That fact surprised even us here at AXA months ago when numbers from the USDA surfaced that show bees are actually thriving. We've had periodic problems when um, we've had this colony collapse disorder, which is almost absolutely um, b blamed on uh, these mite infestations. The irony of it is, is that neonics actually help um, control the mite infestations, which is why it's so popular. Um, neonics are widely used in Australia, no problems at all. Um, it's widely used in Europe, increasing bee um, populations over the past two years. In Canada, increasing bee populations. This is a activist-driven, advocacy-driven story, a scare story, because uh, the advocacy community has coalesced around neonics as the latest devil. John Entine's extensive analysis has much more information that we could fit in a short video, so we encourage you to read it, and you can find it on our website, aksha.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky.